is up everybody welcome back to another episode episode 66 of the driving with randy podcast how are you guys doing my name is road rage randy i sometimes rate for those of you that have never tuned into the podcast it's pretty much me driving and then there's me randy i'm in my 2007 toyota sienna it's absolutely great we don't know what kind of drivers we're going to run into we're currently in a parking lot I'm going to, we're going to Google random topic generator, or random question generator, and we're going to answer some questions on our way home generator. um, Thank you guys very much for clicking on the podcast. I don't know how you came about it, but thank God you found me because you're going to enjoy it. All right. Random conversation generator. Here we go. Oh, yeah. We're gonna do this one right here. I, I don't know how this works, but um. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so my name's Road Rage Randy. I host this podcast called Driving with Randy. Pretty much, it's me driving in my car. It kind of started as just a joke, and now it's it's turned into something big. We're sixty five episodes deep. So we are going to go ahead and. This is a different kind of, normally I just ramble on about a bunch of shit, but today I think we're going to use the random question generator. Um, so let's go ahead, we're going to click this random thing, and yeah, I did grow up here. It asked, did you grow up here? Yeah, I did. Which one you follow top band? Which one you follow top bands or... That one doesn't even make... Which one you follow top bands or... It honestly makes zero freaking sense. We're trying to get a deep question. Um, What is the best job you ever had? Being me. What time do you normally go to bed? (laughs) 12 o'clock. Have you ever been in a car incident? No. What's the biggest personal change you've ever made? My perspective on life. And we already went over that in another episode, if you're curious. Um, I believe it's episode 54. That's, that's, I kind of I just know these things. Name three things in nature you find the most beautiful. Women, trees, and the sky. What would you do if you were the lone survivor of a plane crash? Um, I feel like we could get a little deep on that one. Maybe we'll save that one for a little later. What do you do in your free time? You know what? Let's talk about that. So the question, all right, we're, we're going to go drive and get some macaroni and cheese. Um, it's 50 freaking degrees out, ladies and gentlemen. We are facing the east right now. I know I like to give, I've been giving those updates pretty frequently i know you guys really do not care oh, what direction is road rage randy facing right now the east i was facing east and now we're going north northbound northbound and it's still 49 degrees the temperature hasn't changed um because we changed direction that's that's the lovely thing about this world you can change you can change direction but the temperature is not going to change. It's just going to remain. That guy, that guy's living the dream. Okay. Anyways, we got we got a podcast to make. Oh, hello, hello, hello. What was the question again? What do I do in my free time? Yes. Well, my free time is consumed by a lot of hobbies and thinking, thinking, podcast, music, um. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a there's a whole whole list of things I could name about what I do with my free time. Uh, inline skate. Um, I, I will tell you, social media was kind of something that took up a lot of free time, and I've kind of decided it's not worth it. Screw it. So I I'm really at this point only browsing social media for 15 minutes a day at this point. I'll click it for like one minute or two, check updates, and then leave. Probably 15 minutes max these days. It just I don't spend time on social media. It's a waste of my free time. It's it consumes it, and I didn't like that. So I have put my 
effort into other things. Um, audio has become one thing that certainly interests me a lot. I listen to a lot of podcasts, even when I'm not, when I don't have free time, when I'm being forced to, uh, you know, do this thing called work or do other things like drive Uber my mom around. That seems to be a thing lately. I just seem to be driving people everywhere they want to go. I'm just a family personal Uber, I guess. But there, um, anyways, it, podcasts. I love me some podcasts and you guys know this. You guys know this. I, I feel like we're only going to talk about this for a little bit, and then we're going to go ahead on over to... Once we're at Cub, we're going to change topics. Obviously, I'm going to be getting some macaroni, so, I mean, we got we got other things to be worrying about. But for the moment, we're only going to shoot a little bit of the podcast right now. There's going to be a break in between. It's actually been quite a while since I've done a complete, like, half-hour podcast all the way through without making any kind of changes and I don't know why part of it I think is just writer's block we need to come up with some we can't call it podcasters block podcasters you know writer's block same 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 thing it's just like I upload twice a week my life isn't that interesting maybe that's where I need to make the change maybe I need to take I was going to talk about that. I use some of my free time to really think and develop ideas um, that I can put towards the podcast. Maybe I need to devote more time to the coming up with ideas for the podcast. Maybe I need to, um, I don't know. I, I definitely, so there actually is, uh, I have a study notes downloaded for this. And I have a podcast downloaded for this. And I ordered the book. There's a book coming out called... Or it's, it's been out since 2012. Um, Joe Rogan talks about it quite a bit. He, um, it's called The War of Art. And I, I guess it has a lot to do with creativity and just being blocked. And I feel like maybe if I read that, it'll change my perspective on things. And we're going to be living the dream again. We're going to be back at it. So that's definitely what I'm going to be using some of my free time towards. And that's what I've been using some of my free time towards. I've been trying to read a little bit from a book every single day. I show up a half hour early for work every day. I might as well use that time wisely. I used to use it to... Actually, there was a time when I was using it to learn another language. But that didn't work out and my Russian is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, there was a there was a worker back there. I was trying. Minya new snow robota. I go to work soon. Minya new snow robota. I'm going to work soon. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it's not very good. I could not have a full Russian conversation. I'll tell you that. Although my sign language isn't very good either, and I tend to have conversations with deaf people at work all the time. So. Maybe it's a maybe it's a thing. Anywho, I've been trying to put a little more time towards reading instead of just sitting there wasting my time scrolling through Twitter, listening to some idiot. I open a book and I enhance my knowledge. I I actually I, nonfiction is like the only type I can read. I can't read fiction. It just it doesn't get to me. It just doesn't get to me at all. Um. Back to free time. You know, it kind of differs. Free time. Uh, I could be... During the w- summer, I exercise a lot more. During the winter, not so much. Not so much exercise. It, It's... Uh, like, today would be perfect, though. Holy shit! The temperature dropped five degrees from city to city. And that's because people in this city are cold-hearted. And it, it really projects. Their cold-heartedness in this city really projects on their city and it's just it's five degrees colder than it it was in my city because we're all full of warm hearts yep that's that that's the kind of nonsense i'm coming up with nonsense it's not nonsense it's fact it's fact 
Um, so yeah, so it varies kind of from season to season. Now that, you know, I used to spend maybe an hour inline skating every day, I got to find something to do with that hour. Although work picks up during the winter here and I work a lot more than normal. So I think it's just going to come down to, I'm going to be listening to a lot more podcasts, a lot more Spotify, but I also hope that the time at work really inspires me because a lot of my time at work, I spend conversating with people, conversing. And um, I think one of the big things that comes about that is just topics for my podcast. So I'm really hoping we can get a bunch of topics lined up and I'm really hoping that I can just burst out these uh, burst out these um, podcasts really get them pumping up for you guys I know by the end of the year let's count that so by the end of the year we have this we have one coming out this Friday so that's going to be episode 65 then we have 66 67 and then we have 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. And I believe we end the year on episode 75. Maybe we'll have to make that one a, a special one. A new year. Oh, my God. Whatever I decide to do on New Year's Eve because... Oh my goodness. I think that would be absolutely great. Oh my God, the two ladies next to me are dancing. They're living the life. That's what you guys need to be doing, living the dream. Oh, actually, I want to talk about that now that I mentioned living the dream. A girl asked me at work yesterday how I'm doing. And I t- told her, living each day like it's my last. I'm living the dream. And she said... I want you to clarify that to me. What does living the dream mean to you? Because I I knew right from when she started, she was very spiritual. She actually, we had an extremely good, maybe 20 minute talk yesterday. I'd actually really like for her to come on the podcast if she was comfortable um, talking about her journey and her spiritualness. Like, I, I, I think that would be incredible to have her. That is... They have a black, oh my, that bus is super sketchy. It said child's bus. It was black, had tinted windows. Like what? You just, that just, that seems very sketchy to me. I, I don't know why. It just, what are we doing? Again, people not knowing what lanes were. But yeah, that that's a podcast idea I had. I, I'd like to definitely get more guests on because I feel like my Halloween special, episode 50, just having guests, we really thrive. and we're, I, I actually really like having conversations and not just with myself. I like to bring other people on and discuss. So I think that's definitely one of the goals I have for next year is just get more guests on the podcast. I think that would be very important as well as I think we're going to cut down on podcasts next year I think we're going to go to once a week but it's going to be quality instead of quantity but we're kind of we're again maybe that will be like the month of April maybe month the month of April is my cut down month because I started the podcast in April and I was doing once a week for that for two months I believe I did once a week so maybe I'll just continue that tread so April's going to be my slow month. We'll figure it out as we go. Maybe the podcast will blow up by then. And maybe everyone will be like, yo, Road Rage Randy, we like that twice a week, Monday, Friday deal. I'm like, hell yeah, boys, then we'll do it. Something like that. Where was this podcast gone? It's gone from, we're going to use a random topic generator to goals for the podcast of next year. I guess the mind is just wandering today very much so um i will tell you guys the next uh, i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys right now the next podcast is going to be a book review of the book unfollow by megan phelps roper i have about 40 pages left on it and i plan on finishing that actually after i get this macaroni because i left early for work today 
And I just want to sit here and actually finish this book because then I'm going to have some glorious content to produce for you guys. Hell yeah, we got that green arrow. And this idiot next to me is on his phone, so he doesn't even realize we have a green arrow. A green arrow. If I'd never said this, this intersection is honestly so fucking stupid. So it looks like a... God, see, I don't even know where I'm supposed to... Yeah. See, you just got to make decisions sometimes and just do it. So it is a... Let's see. There is one... So it's a four-way stop, but it's a split intersection, and three of the stops have three ways. Like, you you can have... it. Three of them have... It's just stupid, okay? It's just a stupid... It's, it's, it's stupid. I don't know why. It's just, it's, it's stupid. We're going to park all the way in the back right here because this is where I like to read. I like to read in the back or do something in the back. We are going to go ahead and grab some mac and cheese and then I will report back to you guys with a topic a tad later. We'll, we'll find another topic on the random thoughts generator or the random, random topic generator. Okay, we're going to go ahead and transition into a new topic. I've been kind of sitting in my driveway here for a hot minute, and I have to get to the chiropractor. So, we are making a maneuver right now to, oh, we're making a maneuver. We're not going to hit the car. We're not going to hit the, oh my God. So, the situation I had was, I was essentially parallel parked right there and I had to get out of it and since I'm a professional driver those of you that have been listening to the podcast are well aware of my professionalism oh my god Chipotle receipt I just crinkled up for those of you oh my god yesterday I had Chipotle oh my god the, the guts exploded so one the Chipotle, oh, this was an experience. My Chipotle experience, we're going to talk about it. See, here's another thing. I didn't know what I was going to talk about, but I know I needed to talk about something. So, we're going with the Chipotle now. I mean, it's it's very quite simple. So, yeah, I just start talking and then things come to my mind. I'm also going to discuss some other things with you. But right now, Chipotle. So, I go into Chipotle and it's, uh, it's 9.15. So they close at 10 and I'm always worried about getting things that are cold because they just try and use what they have or you don't get enough. Like the last time I went to Chipotle at like 930, they gave me the scraps like they had no fajitas left. There was very low amounts of chicken. Overall, it was a small bowl, but this one, they had a lot left. So because it's it's going to be waste if they don't use it, they just pour it on. So I'm like, all right. Let's get it. So I, so your white rice. He he triple scoops the white rice. Beautiful. Um, fajitas. He piles those babies nice and high. Fajitas are like like onions and pepper peppers, I believe. If you don't know what fajitas are, but they're delicious. So they pile that on. I get double chicken. He pile. He yeah. He was a little conservative, but that's because they had forty five left um, till they close. But at the same time, he did do pretty well on the double chicken. There's a bunch of geeses flying. The geeses. Oh, my God. They're all feasting over here, too. Oh, my God. It's like a whole gang of of geese. It's awesome. Okay, anyways. Um, so he piles that on. I get spicy salsa. She used a lot of spicy salsa. And, and that's what led to the post-Chipotle explosion, if you guys are catching what I'm saying. It just did. That's what happens with Chipotle, you know. It just you get that you get that post Chipotle explosion sometimes, and I mean that's just the way it is. Um, and then I get lettuce and cheese. And the guy, the, the guy is like, uh, he he rang me up as a single chicken. I'm like, it's a double. He's like, it's all good, man. Hell yeah. But I forgot to mention the the important part. When I walked in, they were blasting music like. 
bad music. Like I'm not like when I go to the chiropractor here, they have Christian music channel on, right? Like uh, I like the Christian music channel. I really do. I think a lot of their music is a lot better than um, the other radio stations. The other radio stations are playing like that. Just the, the lyrics don't speak to me when it's like bang, girl, snort, drugs, stuff like that. It doesn't speak to me because I do neither. So um, it just, I like the Christian music channel. It's got positive messages. But they were playing some like, there was N-words dropping, F-words dropping. Like they had, like, I get it. It's low business right now. But let's say the let's say the local priest walks in. He is going to, you're going to send him into overdrive. He's going to have to pray for you all night because of the, the, the disturbing music which you throw upon him. It just, overall, not my type of music, but whatever gets them through the work day because I have been there when they, uh, oh, what is, is that an owl? Oh, that's a, that's a, no, that's a hawk. That was pretty cool. How do I confuse a hawk and an owl? I don't know. We're, we're just making... I'm not a bird watcher. I absolutely love... my. Every time I go to my grandpa's house, he's got he's got books on birds. I absolutely love looking at those. Like, they, they're just... They're great. I think they're great. Um, They're doing road construction. What else is new? It's like fucking winter and they're doing road construction. Anywho, back to, back to the Chipotle. Uh, it was delicious. Like... So I got $7, I got like three scoops of rice, two scoops of chicken, a a lot of cheese, a lot of lettuce, and I only paid for a single. But the explosion still hit, just, it just, it was, it was pretty rough. Like I I got on and it was just like everywhere. I know, great sound effects, great, great TMI, but that's just the way it is. Um, All right. So let's get off the, the fact of Chipotle. We're going to go ahead and I want, I want to talk to you guys. This isn't, let's see. So I'm trying to, I need to do something different for the podcast. I really think I need to do something a little bit different. Um, I, I love the book reviews, the movie reviews. I think that is good content. Um, I ranted about Disney Plus earlier. I don't understand how gas is 244 here and I pay 255 across town. Like, is it just shittier stuff or what? I just, I don't get it. I, I, I think it's the same stuff, too. It just, I, I don't get it. I Keep calm and chive on. Thanks, buddy, and the, and the Mr. Oh, my God. This, this Honda wants to race. He's got a turbo, but I got a minivan. Let's get it, boys. Oh, shit. We passed him. Suck it, brother, man. Oh, he just got some. Anywho, um, I, I, I was going to talk about my aux port. So as you guys know, if you guys listened to a previous podcast, I kind of talked about electronics a little bit and how I fixed my aux cord. Well, we've run into an issue. It's The aux cord broke, so I had to buy a new one. Completely fine. I'm, I'm 100% okay with that. But the aux port's broke now. Like... It, it wiggle, like, it just, it does not work. I don't get it. So I have to resort to the second option, which is compact discs, CDs. Do I own any CDs? I own one CD. And it is, uh, I forget the title of it. All Things Lost? I don't, I don't remember the title of it. It's by August Burns Red. Um, I love August Burns Red. I used to love them back in the day, and they're heavy. They're a heavy band. I, I really like that. Um, I forget what their album's called though that I own, but I need to resort back to that. So I have to burn some discs. And one of my ideas is I'm gonna make a disc, ten songs of mine, ten songs of my girlfriend, and it's just gonna be a banger of a of an album like it was half my music half her music it, it'll be perfect and actually oh my goodness my discover weekly oh if you guys don't know, you know how i kind of ranted about 
streaming services and whatnot earlier. Yeah, well, I have Spotify Premium, big flex, I know. Um, and it's, it's great. They have something called Discover Weekly. They make you a playlist. Once a week, every Monday, I get a new playlist with new music. This week's playlist, oh my goodness, banger, absolute banger. It has some Under Oath on there. One of the one of the bands I grew up with, Under Oath. I absolutely love. It's kind of hard for me to pick a favorite band because my taste in music differs so much. But like Under Oath, My Chemical Romance, those bands come to mind as some of my favorites. And then, and then they put some Confide on there. I love Confide. Joel Piper, their clean vocalist and their drummer, has some of the best clean vocals I've ever heard. Like, he's got the voice of an angel. I love his solo stuff, too. Just Joel freaking Piper. Great. I can't see this light because I have a big truck and top, and it's... I should have just assumed that it was going to be red. We're kind of in that part of town where just every light's always red. It just it doesn't make sense. We see it here. And... They're putting Christmas lights on the on the place that they pulled my teeth. For those of you that don't know, I am missing three teeth. We're just on a whole big old rant today. But yeah, so oh, that lady's got a cool poppy. But anywho, that's kind of the idea. I need to make some kind of a playlist because my ox port broke. So I can't listen to podcasts in the car. Can't listen to audio. But well, I'm going to be honest with you. I've tried audiobooks. I cannot get into them. I don't know why. It just, it doesn't feel like a conversation or it doesn't even like, okay. So I am trying one audiobook and I've liked it so far. Um, I have the book coming though in the mail and I'm, I, I plan on reading it more so than listening to the audiobook. But I like the audiobook because the book is a memoir. And the person who, the author is also the person that's reading it. And I think that's a lot better. But again, at the end of the day, it's still like they're reading and I just, it, it doesn't catch my interest. Whereas podcasts, I have, I have a whole list of podcasts lined up. I think I have about 14 Joe Rogan's episodes downloaded because I have a lot of catching up to. And then when I, when I listen to the Joe Rogan's, I'm going to get behind on every other podcast I listen to. And it's just going to be, I'm going to have a ton of content. But there's a lot of Rogans I had in my watch laters that I just, I never got around to. And I'm finally going to get into that. What? 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 Uh, uh, the, the local Lian Chin. If you guys don't know what Lian Chin is, apparently this one's closed. There's, there's three around here, but that one is getting remodeled or closed. They still have the sign up and I, I, I've sh- seen no sign of it closing before. And I don't know. I don't know. This, so the other day, I, I double shift at work, and I worked nine and a half hours, but I was going to do a podcast on the way home, like a one ten in the morning, but I decided not to. I'm going to be doing some more of those shifts, so definitely in the future, I'm going to be doing some early morning podcasts. Um, my goal for the next couple podcasts is actually give you guys some content, not just me ranting about how stupid my Oxport is, ranting about how people are posting, oh, I subscribe to Disney freaking plus. Cool. See, gas is 252 here. It makes literally zero sense. 252 and it's 244 up the road. How? You know what? Actually, Maybe they advertise their discount price because if you're like a rewards member there, they give you a discount. I don't know. I, I just, I, I don't know how it is. I think it's just terrible ethanol. That's what it, it comes down to. Your gasoline sucks, bro. That's, that's what we're getting at. Anyways, I am running late. I'm going to be at the chiropractor momentarily and I'm going to be running right in. I want to thank you guys very much for tuning into this episode. This is episode 65. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. And I will certainly talk to you guys later. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at Thoughts by Randy. Follow me on Reddit, r slash Driving with Randy. Thank you very much for tuning in. Drop a review too. I haven't got a review in a while. Drop a review. Peace.